DJ Dells. What's up, it's your boy Dells. Before we get into this footage, I wanted to set up the video. So, a month ago, there was this big event, WrestleCade. Over 100 wrestlers, tons and tons of fans, thousands and thousands of fans from all over the world come to North Carolina for WrestleCade. The night before the big event, I was at the hotel. In the lobby, I link up with my dude Tim, one of the guys from WrestleCade. Who walks in after? Mean Gene Oakland. Walks right up to us. He's like, hey, fellas, how you doing? Real friendly. He's like, hey, let's go get a drink. So we take him to the lounge area over at the hotel. We're at the Marriott. And one thing that's really funny, you'll notice in the footage, because he cut like a nice little promo for me, that he ordered a Kettle One with olives. Neat. No ice, nothing like that. That's how he wanted it. So when he gets his glass, he's looking at it and he's like, what the hell is that in his voice? I can't imitate his voice. He just couldn't believe how a bartender could serve such a pathetic looking thing. Like that's the word he used too, I'm pretty sure. Because it was just a big rocks glass with barely any vodka. You know, when you go to these kind of places, they always measure how much vodka to put. So they probably just put like one ounce of vodka and threw a bunch of olives in it. It looks silly. <laughs> As I was saying in the video, he's mentioning about this and it needs to be fixed, this situation over here. That's what he's talking about, the bar, just pouring like weak drinks. <laughs> I hung out with him for about 40 minutes, filmed maybe about five minutes, give her take and uh, it was just great seeing him interacting with so many fans that were just walking up to him he gave everyone the time of day from the little kids to the adults there was one grandmother that just ran up on him kissed him right in the lips was like, I gotta kiss you right on the lips. And then kiss Mean Gene right on the lips. You had so many wrestlers that were stopping by saying hi to him. Um, one conversation he was having, he said that Hulk Hogan wished him a Thanksgiving, called him up. So I thought that was really cool that um, Hogan actually gave him a call because I know Mean Gene was really fond of Hulk Hogan. So um, that's something I wanted to share with you all. He passed away. And I think that a lot of you fans out there would like to hear that. Um, I was right next to him when he said that, man. He was saying that Hulk Hogan Hogan called him to wish him a Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving so I thought that was pretty cool just wanted to just set up this video real quick my favorite moment with Mean Gene Oakland definitely is when he went to Macho Man and Miss Elizabeth's house I thought that whole promo that they filmed was so entertaining if you've never seen it watch it, it was so great of course all the stuff with Hogan but to me the greatest interviewer when it comes to professional wrestling Mean Gene Oakland you'll always be missed never forgotten legend forever now, let me hit you with that footage. Much love. Hey, this is Mean Gene Oakland with DJ Dells. DJ Dells. They're missing you over there, Mean Gene. That's an insult. Hi, gang. Mean Gene Oakland. Uh, we are in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, but I'm here for a very important reason. Like it or not, and I don't know you're going to like it, but a very important event is coming your way called WrestleGate. Wrestlecade, am I correct? Yes, you are. Wrestlecade. Remember that. Write it down. Put it in a, uh, a time vault. Put it in a safety deposit box. Put it in your shorts. I don't care. It's up to you. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be having fun here in Winston-Salem, both today and tomorrow. If you get a chance, come on, see us, sign an autograph. We will... Certainly put you on the hook for a cocktail. <laughs> Not like this either. They'll improve that before the night's over. But in the meantime, wrestling equates to fun. This is the holidays. Go have fun. And Hulk Hogan. Look at this. Stuff and he's the stuff. Please. <laughs> Okay, you got the whole nine yards here. What's up, bud? How you doing? You look a younger, man. You went in the time machine, baby. I'm Dave. Okay. This is Kevin Ash. A shout out to DJ Dallas. Think about your boy LeBron this year. I watched him play the other night. He coasted till they needed him. Yeah. Where would you rank him the bet as far as all time? All time? Nobody ever in, in year 16 is doing what he's doing. He hit that bank shot. 
Yeah. When he won the championship. Yeah. To, to beat Boston. To, to get them to the championship. Yeah. That's a big deal. I mean, do good, bro. See, I'm so fucking old. I watched Chamberlain play. Oh, really? And Chamberlain, uh -huh. at the end of his career, you could fucking, you couldn't stop him. Yeah. Remember Sports Illustrated put an article out that said Cham Cham Chamberlain was done. He got 53 on Al Sender, uh -huh. you know, Jabbar, but he was Al Sender then. He got 53 on Al Sender, came in the next night in Detroit, he got 56 on Bob Lanier. As they said, he couldn't score anymore. He said, fuck you, I can score whatever I want. Look what we got here. Introduce yourself. Started ladies first, go oh, ahead. Hello, Alicia Toot here. Joined by. By Marta the Moth Martinez, hello. And we're kicking here with DJ Dells. <laughs> So quick questions real quick. What's your favorite band? Ooh, number one would have to be the Beatles, but up there is Mystery Jess and Maximal Park, two amazing indie British acts. Awesome. Switch Engage and Backstreet Boys. Oh my goodness, that's yes. definitely very interesting. Backstreet Boys, actually I'm gonna to go to their concert in April. Celebrity Crush. <laughs> Sandra Bullock, I've been calling you, baby, but you haven't been answering. Call him. Sandra, <laughs> I've been calling you. Or tell your friend, Jen, Jennifer Aniston, to answer phone and call me back. I love you. This is RBD saying, check out DJ Dells. DJ Dells. Here, DJ Dells. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, oh, oh. Tens, right? Ten. Oh, Tens. Close. 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 No one's a ten with me. Hey. But. How do you feel about this epidemic with hot shaming that's going on in the world with you? It's been going on a long time, but I'm really happy that I'm able to use my voice to, you know, let, let the hot women out there be heard. Exactly. And the pain they've been going through for so many years. It's so horrible. It's really important to me. It's very close to my heart. Uh -huh. And I know like, a lot of people have been very, very, very supportive of my, of my message. What's your favorite bands? Ooh, uh, favorite band live is probably Lone Bello. Okay. Actually, I know you love music. I do love music. I was a music player, mate. Uh, maybe the Lone Bello would probably have Love you all. Talk to you, everybody. It's the one, it's the only, it's Eli Drake. I'm here with DJ Dells. Who? DJ Dells. Yeah. And uh, he's a sneaker addict, okay? I actually suggested rehab. The funny thing is, today, we got great taste, and I'll tell you why. Bang. Look at, oh, look at that. We rock in the same sneakers. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Is, what is your favorite Air Jordan? The 11s. The 11s? Hands down. In what colorway? Ah, uh, Concords. OG, the first ones you ever saw. The white with the black. Why? They, they, they reminded me of wrestling boots the first time I saw them. I thought of like Bret Hart's boots. And I was like, man, those are awesome. Never saw a basketball shoe like that. I uh, became obsessed with them. Used to get all the East Bay magazines and just stare. And I was like, I need to have these. I need to have these. The first ones I ever got were the breads. Uh -huh. The bread 11s. Um, but uh, eventually, I think it was maybe three or four years ago, I finally got my first pair of Concords. You know he's official when he's mentioning East Bay magazines, East Bay magazine. catalogs. That is, you can't get more official. That's oh, yeah. very legit talk oh, right yeah. there. By the way, we noticed right here, we're noticing right here, you've got this uh, comes from? inspiration from the Jordan 11 exactly. t-shirt. I could swear, did you ever have any wrestling boots that had that Concord colorway? I did. You and, did? I'm, and I've also now I knew it. actually just started wrestling in Jordans, uh -huh. and I added a uh, like a sleeve that makes it look just like those boots that I have. Made. Okay. So, it's pretty good. I got good memory. I, I, I'm going to pat myself in the back. Barry Howard's, man. I mean... <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Oh, there you go. Let me throw this on top. Oh, wow. Oh, that. that is awesome right there. Let me get, let me get that close. There's, there's detail here, you know? That's my logo. That is awesome. You know, throw them on top. Make sure to check him out on Impact. What's up, guys? It's Taya. And you're hanging out with DJ Dell. Hey, quick question. What was the last song you listened to that you remember? Uh, right now, I want a reggaeton kick. I listen oh, to yeah? So, okay, that's what's up. You know, a little, a little Cardi B, a little Taki Taki, a, uh, <laughs> a little bit of everything. So. so Cardi B over Nicki Minaj? Ooh, I like both of them, but I'm, right now I'm, I'm, I'm more on Team Cardi than I am on Team Nicki. Yeah, I'm, I'm Team Cardi too. Yeah. Team Cardi all the way. <laughs> this is Jerry the King Lawler. Coming out to DJ Dells, ladies and gentlemen. I'm JR. We got a direct. 
with the one and only PJ Black. We need the for that. Oh man, we got we got to widen it out. Get the gun show going. Which way is the beach? <laughs>